Governor Gretchen Whitmer has submitted her new state budget to the legislature. But partisan politics have been an ongoing problem. The current budget proposal sits at $67.1 billion. That's actually up 7% from last year. And there are no tax increases. And that money is expected to be focused on health care, fixing Michigan's roads and bridges, and security at the Michigan State Capitol. As Jim Kirsner shows us, there are now two budget proposals from the governor that are being held up by the Republican-controlled legislature. The governor gave the legislature a supplemental budget back on January the 20th. Has she been working behind the scenes? Republicans have stalled it in part because of her COVID restrictions on businesses and schools. But Jim, I, I think it's uh, funny that you ask what behind the scenes things are happening because if they're behind the scenes, we don't talk about them. The new budget proposes spending $15.9 billion on K-12 education, a 2% increase in per-pupil assistance, $750 million to address learning loss with COVID. What certainty is provided in this budget that kids will have access to in-person instruction going forward? There are a substantial amount of investments here for our districts to begin in-person learning. The governor has encouraged all schools to begin in-person learning by March 1. There is no requirement in the budget that we're presenting that schools do in-person learning. Governor is proposing spending $5 million on increased security at the state capitol that could for the first time include metal detectors and increased staff after open carry of guns was banned. $37 million is proposed for nursing homes to recover from COVID losses. Just fix the damn roads was the governor's campaign theme when she ran for office. In 2018, she's proposing $3.1 billion for infrastructure, $300 million for bridges, including this rotunda Miller Road Bridge near the Ford Dearborn plant that has been hammered with heavy truck traffic. This $300 million F, uh, investment would enable these bridges to be repaired and replaced. Still, the governor needs the biggest bridge to be fixed. Support from Republicans who control the legislature. And that's what the people of Michigan expect us to do. Governor is proposing $370 million for families and daycare centers hit hard with COVID. They can use that money for their rebound. More on that next hour at six. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you.